All right, so this is the capture card that I'm using. This is, it's called the iTech USB 2.0 capture adapter for PC and Mac. As you can see right there, captures quality analog audio videos from sources VHS, VHI8, camcorder, DVD player, satellite TV receiver to convert into digital format, blah, blah, blah. But what the most important thing it captures your Xbox gameplays, your PlayStation gameplays, and your Wii gameplays, and stream it direct and stream directly on YouTube. So you can actually stream on YouTube with this device. I actually was streaming last night, but the quality isn't all that great. But you know, it streams. Supports most of the video formats. It's in MPEG-2. You can use it on Apple, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. Alright, so let's show you what comes with it. That's the box. Alright, this is what comes with it. The usual um, manual. This is the DVD software that has the editing software on it. So after you capture the video, you can use this to to edit and upload your YouTube gameplays. It comes with three splitters. One, two, three. And this right here, this is actually the capture device. This is what it looks like. It has three of these. It's not, it's standard definition just so you guys know. So this is it right here. This is what I'm using to capture my gameplays right now this button right here it's it's called snapshot once you press it you can snapshot take a picture of your gameplay and you could probably use it as a thumbnail and set it up different instead of how you want it it comes with two extra cables you only seen one right now because I have the other one plugged into my TV and this is basically it I'm going to do a setup next and show you how to set it up Alright, so the first thing you need to do is connect the splitters to each one of these uh, cords. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'm going to do it. That's one. Hook this up to the red. And then hook this one up to the white. Sorry if you're hearing a little humming sound, that's actually my fan right now, so sorry about that. This side is what you plug into the computer, but before you plug this into the computer, install the drivers off the CD first, alright? Then what you're going to do now, you're going to open one of this, and you're going to connect yellow to yellow, red to red, and white to white. All right, and then once you connect these, you're gonna once you connect this end to here, yellow to yellow, red to red, white to white, you connect these three to your TV set. And remember, it's standard definition, it's not high definition. And then once you do, once you've done that, you're going to get the connections from your Xbox, and you're going to put yellow to yellow, red to red, and white to white, and that should be the setup. I'm going to just show you how it should look and you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is how it should look after you set it up. Red to red. Now this red, this yellow, and this white. See, the Xbox is in the other port as you can see right there. So this is what it should look like and this is how it should be on your TV. Actually, these shouldn't be plugged in, but I just plugged them in because, you know, I feel like it. So, yeah. So this is what it should look like after you set it up. And then you are going to, like I said, put this into your CD-ROM, CD-ROM drive. And then you update, you add the drivers to your computer so that's about it 
I'm going to show you what it looks like after everything is set up. Alright, so after you finished install the drivers to your computer, you should see this thing right here called ArcSoft Showbiz. You click on it and you should see it come up. Give it a second. Sometimes it takes a little while to come up. Basically what this is, this is the editing software that you're going to use to edit your video that you just captured. So that's what it basically is and it, it also installs the drivers. There we go. This is what it looks like. This is the part where you edit the videos. I can select this. Let me just select one and show you what it looks like. Wow, this is taking forever. There it is. This is a video I captured last night. As you can see, it's a, it's 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 pretty cool. Infected. We're playing some infected. Let me pause that now. That's where you, this is where you edit the video. You take the video and you drag it down here. And this is where you edit the video after you you captured it. You have you have effects, you have text, you have transitions and stuff like that. And this is where you capture the video now. Let me show you real quick. Right now it's connected to my Xbox, so if you see, this is on my computer and this is on my Xbox. So if that's a pretty good view, I think it's a bad view, but this is what you should have. And while you're playing, it captures everything that happens on here, it captures it directly on this. But the only thing the only thing is um the fat the size is not 1280 by 720. Uh, I think the size is um device setting uh, let me let me go in this video image no nah, it's not here I think the, the size is like five five nine something so it, it's not gonna fit the entire screen once it uploads to YouTube but what you can do you can actually um, if you if you download Camtasia studio or you can use um what's that thing called Sony Vegas Pro what you can do after you finished capturing your video this is this is the button that you press when you're ready to start capturing your gameplay and when you're finished you tap it again and it stops um, let me come off that to produce a video now this is where you go you can actually create it to a DVD and burn it to a DVD or create a file or and store it on your computer or you can upload it directly to YouTube so if you want to see a test video you can check out my channel check out a, another video on my channel called iTech Easy Cap Test Capture and you'll see the quality of it both small in the regular size and when you expand it to, to 1280 by 720 so if you want to see that you can just go on go on my channel and just check it out and you'll see the both gameplays when it's enlarged and when it's small so basically that is it on the setup now overall my review on this is I would say um, my thoughts on it, it it's 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 a pretty decent capture card for someone who doesn't take YouTube seriously but to me to me what I think this does it gives you experience like for, for when you're ready to purchase like an Aver Media or an Elgato you can you can get the experience from this before you jump into that and then know when you get the Elgato or the Aver Media you'll know exactly what to do because you've had the experience from using this software and this on um, this capture card oh and another thing to show you it actually lights up once you plug it into the computer it's emitting a blue light so yeah overall it's 
it's standard definition. You can stream with it on YouTube. You can stream with it on Twitch because it doesn't meet the requirements that Twitch has. Twitch only tw on Twitch you can only use Elgato and certain types of Raver Media. But you can stream with it on on YouTube. It's not that great quality. Uh, it's standard definition. Um, overall, I would uh, out of ten, I would give this like a four. I'm not gonna lie, but a 4.5 no no you know what I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 it's it's okay it's not that bad but it's okay for someone who who wants the experience of YouTube I would say start with this and then jump up to a Elgato or an Avermedia or or whatever so it's pretty decent um, it's 30 frames per second when it's when it's um, rendering and uh, it's there's no blurriness or anything like i said you want to see a test video just go on my channel you're on my channel right now just check out my channel and you'll see itech game capture both regular format and when i enlarge in the video so that's i would say five out of ten it's standard definition as you can see on the tv it's definitely not high definition i had to turn off my my hdmi settings and use um, TV settings for it to work because like I said it's standard definition so yeah even though we're not in the stone age anymore we're in high definition 1080p 1080i standards era right now but like I said you can give it a try see if you guys like it I would recommend I would give it a 5 out of 10 it's it's pretty okay it's it just gives you the experience that's what I would recommend that's basically what I'm getting the experience so I when I get the real decent good capture card I'll know what to do so hope you guys like this video hope this review you guys like this review tell me what you think about it in the comment section down below and as always peace out from Jamaica one love peace